Just one day after initially denying entry to Qatari payments for thousands of poor citizens and government workers in the Gaza Strip, Islamic terror group Hamas on Saturday finally allowed the third installment of aid to be paid out with an additional $5 million. At first, the third Qatari payment of $15 million was halted by Israel as a punitive measure against Hamas's violence and incitement along the Gaza-Israel border. Essentially, it was Israel's way of saying no more to paying money for peace that never came. But then, after the payment was later allowed by Israel in order to avoid a humanitarian crisis in the Strip, Hamas rejected the funds on the grounds that the agreement with Israel had been broken. However, following the initial block and amidst Hamas's reportedly dropping approval ratings, the Gaza terror organization did later facilitate the handing out of over $9.4 million in Qatari aid to thousands of needy families in the Strip. The payment was originally mostly for Hamas's salaries. But thousands of Gazans lined up at various post offices around the coastal enclave to receive $100 each. And Qatari officials were present at each and every one of these locations, overseeing that those receiving the funds were actually named on a list pre-approved by Israel. Palestinian sources allege that at least 6,000 families were removed from that list. Additionally, Qatari representatives reported to the AFP that they will no longer be funding Hamas's salaries anyway. Rather, Qatar will work with the international community in order to continue ensuring their funds end up in the neediest of hands.